Hey guys, you have learned two different methods to identify sharp keys. You learned the skip one method and you learned the last sharp method using our order of sharps, which is Father Charles goes down and ends battle. Today, we're going to be learning how to write key signatures, which is very similar. Um, basically, we're just going to reverse the processes that you already know. So I'm going to explain how to use both of those methods in order to write a key signature from scratch. Okay, so if you preferred the skip one method, this is how you can use that to uh, write a key signature. So down here, I've got my order of sharps. If you remember, when you were going to use skip one to identify a key, let's say I've got this key of A major here, we would need to take the first three sharps. So we know there's three. So we count one, two, three. We skip one here. And then we know that the key is A, right? Three sharps, one, two, three, skip one, and the key is A. Okay. So what if I needed to build the key of A major from scratch? Well, I'm just going to go in reverse. Okay. So I'm going to take A and I'm going to skip one. And this is going to be my last sharp. And then I take all three of them prior. Okay. From A, skip one going this way. And I get to G, C, and F sharps. All right. So now when I come to build my key signature, I just have to make sure that I go in the order of sharps. So I start all the way from the left. I have F sharp, C sharp, and G sharp. All right. Now I don't want to do G sharp, C sharp, F sharp. That's in the wrong order. And now that you're getting used to what key signatures look like, you might even see that that looks kind of funny. So we always want to start when we're spelling out the key signatures on the staff always want to start from the left all the way to the right. Okay. Now say you want to use the last sharp method. Okay. So if you remember when we're looking at a key, we'll take the same key of a major. What you're going to do is you're going to take the last sharp, which here is G sharp and you're going to go up a half step up a half step from G sharp is a. All right. So, all you have to do when you're writing out the keys is go backwards and you'll get the last sharp. So if the name of the key is A major, a half step down from A major is G sharp. But we can't just take the last sharp and make that first. Remember, we've got to go in the order of sharps. So we look at our order of sharps. We find G sharp, which is the last sharp, and we take everything before that. So we start from the left and we get F sharp, we get C sharp, and G sharp, which is the last sharp that we know from our last sharp method. Okay, so those are two different ways using the last sharp method and the skip one in order to learn how to build the sharps. Remember, it's always got to be in the order of sharps. Okay, let's try another one. We've got B major. So if I'm going to do my skip one method, I'm going to go from B, I'm going to skip one going this way, and I'm going to take all of these sharps, but I've got to start from the left when spelling them. Okay, so I go F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp, and A sharp. And those are all the sharps in the key of B in that order. Okay, same thing. If I was going to do this with the other method, I would start with B. I would go down a half step and a half step below B is uh, A sharp, okay? So now we know that A sharp is going to be our final sharp right here. And we need to take everything before that in that order, right? So I go in that same order again, and that will just as effectively get me to B major. All right, let's do one more just like that. So starting with the skip one method, we know that the name of the key is D major. So I'm going to start at D. I'm going to skip one going backwards and our last sharp. Oh, that was an interesting arrow. Oh my gosh. Let's color it in. Yay. It looks kind of like a stingray. Okay. So the last sharp is C sharp. 
And so we need to take everything before that, which is these two sharps. So we go F sharp and C sharp, okay? Now, again, same thing for the going down a half step method or the last sharp method, right? We start with the key of D, the half step below D brings us to our final sharp, which is C, and we're gonna take C sharp and all the sharps before it, which is F sharp and C sharp, okay? So hopefully you are beginning to see the patterns here. These methods are literally just the exact reverse of the method that you used previously. The method for identifying sharps goes forward, you take the last sharp and you go up a half step or you skip one in the forward direction. And when you're writing them, you just take that in reverse. You go, you skip one backwards or you just go down a half step if you prefer the last sharp, okay?